Helion Thermal Imaging Scope from Pulsar. Main Parts The Helion Thermal Imaging Scope has the following parts. A germanium objective lens with a focusing ring for adjusting the focus of the scope. A latch for lens changing is only present in Helion XP models. An observation eyepiece with a diopter adjustment ring for individual vision compensation. A rechargeable lithium ion IPS5 battery that can be replaced by an extended IPS10 battery for longer operation. The controls located on the top of the housing consist of five buttons. The on off power button, navigation up button, menu button, navigation down button, and record button. The micro USB port can be used either for charging or for downloading recorded data to your PC. There is a tripod mounting hole with a quarter of an inch thread for mounting the Helion on a tripod. To start the Helion, follow these simple steps. Insert the battery into the device firmly and push the lever down. Push the power button once and wait. In several seconds, the Pulsar logo will appear on the screen. Shortly after, the image will appear. With the help of the diopter adjustment ring, make sure that you can see the edges of the screen and overlay icons under the screen sharply. In this way, the image is adjusted for individual vision. This procedure is done only once. Point the device at the object of observation and by turning the focusing ring to either one side or another, reach the state when the object is seen sharply. When a different object is observed, refocusing can be done if necessary. The Helion's menu and settings. Apart from its main function, the power button has several other functions. A short press when the device is activated initiates calibration of the sensor. During calibration, the image freezes for a short time and a clicking sound is heard. A long press for less than three seconds turns the display off. The display off sign will appear on the screen. A long press for more than three seconds powers the unit off completely. One short press of the navigation up button switches between hot black and hot white color palettes. When a different color palette is in use, the up button activates hot white. A long press of the up button activates and deactivates Wi-Fi in the unit. The Wi-Fi icon under the screen will change when the button is pushed. A short press of the navigation down button activates digital zoom. Zooming is performed in steps progressively up to the highest zoom factor and then reverts back to its lowest magnification. A long press activates picture-in-picture -picture function. The second small image with magnification appears on the screen. A long press of the record button allows switching between the photo and video recording modes. The respective icon is shown on the top left corner of the screen. A short press, depending on the selected mode, activates video recording or takes a photo. When video recording is active, a short press of the same button pauses the video and a long press stops recording. The menu button can be used for accessing two menus, the hot menu and the main menu. A short press of the menu button activates the hot menu in the right part of the screen. To switch between the settings in the hot menu, push the menu button repeatedly. The following settings will be available, zoom, rangefinder, brightness, and contrast. Each individual setting can be adjusted with the help of the up and down navigation buttons. The stadium metric rangefinder measures the range of the object with a known height. To do that, the object should be placed between two lines on the screen. When it is necessary, the lines can be moved closer or farther away from one another to fit the object's height. Three objects are available for reference. Hare, 0.3 meters tall. Wild boar, 0.7 meters tall. And deer, 1.7 meters tall. To enter the main menu of the unit, it is necessary to press and hold the menu button. Navigation between the functions is performed with the help of the up and down navigation buttons. The following settings are available in the main menu. Wi-Fi activation, observation modes, forest, rocks, and identification. The color modes include hot black, hot red, red monochrome, rainbow, ultramarine, violet, and sepia. The calibration modes include automatic, semi-automatic, manual, Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi network password setup, access level setup as owner or guest. The general settings include language, date, time, meters or yards, objective lens setup, default settings, memory card formatting, 
remote control, defective pixel repair function, and device information. Objective lens replacement for the Helion XP models. Power the unit off before removing the objective lens to protect the sensor. Pull the lens change latch in the direction of the eyepiece to release the objective lens. Turn the lens counterclockwise and pull it out of the housing. Then insert another lens and turn it clockwise until it's locked. In order to make sure that the magnification value is on the screen and the range values are in the range finder are displayed correctly, select the appropriate lens in the objective lens setup menu. Working with the Stream Vision app. To start working with the Stream Vision application, activate the Wi Fi in the unit. This can be performed in two ways. Press and hold the Navigation Up button until the Wi Fi icon under the screen turns active. Then enter the main menu and activate the Wi Fi in the Wi Fi activation settings. In your smartphone, go to the Wi Fi settings. Select the network with the name Helion. The last four numbers in the name of the network are the same as in the serial number of the connected unit. The smartphone will ask you for a password for the unit's Wi-Fi network. On default, the unit's password is 12345. If necessary, it can be changed in the settings of the unit. After starting Stream Vision, the main screen will appear. The name of the connected device will be seen. There are five icons at the bottom. My Devices, Files, Viewfinder, Stream, and Settings. My Devices menu allows you to check information about the unit, check availability of the new firmware, and update it. My Devices menu also gives you access to the unit settings. The Files menu provides access to the files stored within the unit. The files can be downloaded to your smartphone and viewed with the help of the integrated player. The Viewfinder menu shows the image from the unit and allows the user to control some of the functions of the Helion, like zoom, contrast, or remote video recording. The stream screen is necessary to start direct live streaming to YouTube. For this purpose, the user has to perform three easy steps. Share your internet connection with your device. Then connect and verify your YouTube account. Notify friends by sending them a message with a link to the live stream. The settings screen contains settings of the mobile application and its auxiliary functions. 